Who's Josh Melton? Man, who's Josh Melton? My whole life changed when my thought process changed about life, you know? <laughs> it is what you make it, no matter what day, no matter what you're going through. Josh Melton. Oh gosh, Josh Melton is probably the most positive person I know. Turned to my buddy Cody, I said, I, I don't think I can hang here, man. Like, if the if this is how good the talent is, when I first moved to this town, that's where my bar was set, and that was Ashley McBride. So, a guy that I took care of in Ohio had a bunch of those, and uh, he said, yeah, man, take them. I've always, uh, like, for the past, like, seven years, I've always thrown them up somewhere in the house. Just kind of like, it just gives a nice little backdrop for live, some of them are falling down, but, and just kind of like, I don't know. It's a garage. I got a little carried away, and then bricks ended up going inside, and I was like, well, I gotta finish this. So, neighbors are walking by, and I'm out here playing with the chalk by myself. I said, baby, bring bricks back out here. You look like I'm crazy. Bricks, look at the sidewalk, man. I do this for you. That's the only way it's I know like how to nothing. do it. That's how you tie it. And now make the loops, there you go. What are you talking about? That's so weird how yours go cockeyed to the side like that. Who taught you bunny ears? That's how I tie it. I don't even tie my shoes though. Okay. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye, buddy. Now, now. Here. See you later. Man, it's easy to get in that funk. I think some people live in that funk, man. It's like my whole life changed when my thought process changed about life, you know? <laughs> Like, man, it is what you make it, no matter what day, no matter what you're going through. You can literally wake up and kill every day if you tell yourself you're going to. That's kind of how I try to live. And those Monday meltdowns, sometimes you see those, and that's when I, uh, that's when I feel like telling everybody else how I'm feeling, but um, sometimes I, I don't do that because I don't want to act like a motivational speaker, but. I love waking up and just telling myself I'm going to kill that day, man. The power of uh, positive thinking is a huge thing. So this is the drive I do. Now it's like three or four days a week. My publisher, I write songs and I go downtown and I meet a couple other writers or artists and we make up songs. Um, usually they're about my real life. Usually we get good songs. I'm really fortunate to be able to get in the room with uh, some veterans in the game and usually everybody in the room has like songs on the radio and stuff like that so I know we're going down the right path and that's my team right there without the team you got nothing man hi I'm Josh Melton and this is my story <laughs> who's Josh Melton man who's Josh Melton I think um, and I don't like talking about myself, but like I think a lot of people in town that I know um, tell me that I'm one of the nicest guys they know, you know? And I think that comes genuine from me and my upbringing. I mean, my parents raised me to be kind and respectful to other people. And that carries through in these relationships that I've built in Nashville. I felt like I was somewhat paralyzed when I was, um, I think, 23. I broke both my arms at the same time. I wrecked my motorcycle. I had to rely on other people to help me through life. God bless their souls. I couldn't use my arms. So that kind of is what um, got me into nursing. Right here, up here to the left, when I first moved to town, this is the first uh, nursing home I worked at. My main job description here at the nursing home was the guy that makes everybody laugh. <laughs> That's kind of what I uh, what I did here at the nursing home. You gotta love these people because 
me going through that broken arm situation um, really kind of humbled me because I didn't ask for it and people at nursing homes didn't ask to be here either. That kind of made me want to become a nurse and uh, help people out that are less fortunate in life. Anything to make, uh, anything to stay here is what I was trying to do. Born and raised. So I was born and raised. I was born in Michigan, Holland, Michigan. And we moved to Florida for a little bit because of my dad's ministry. And then we moved back to Ohio. So I was raised mostly in Ohio. Northwest Ohio, Arcadia, Finley, Van Buren, shout out. <laughs> Homeschooled from the sixth grade up. That kind of shaped my life because my dad was actually like a basketball star growing up had opportunities to play in the NBA. So I think that kind of runs in my blood and that kind of carries over to my like persistency with I can do anything I want to do kind of thing. Done construction. I went to auto body school. I was in nursing school. I was working at a nursing home and now I'm a musician. Like I like doing things that people say I can't do. I met a friend, she came in there to play music for the elderly people and she ran a storage unit up here to the right. I was looking for a rehearsal space because I didn't know any cover songs. I didn't know how to play music. I really didn't know anything and I couldn't be really loud at my apartment that I was living in. I asked her, I was like, hey, can you give me a deal on a storage unit? because I want to be able to practice and be loud. I want to set a system up. This is crazy. She literally gave me this and it's open right now. That storage unit is where I learned a hundred cover songs one year. I went there every day, five days a week, shut that door and practice music. I only, the only audience I had was these hornets that they flew in that thing. I learned that I had to bring like foam with me i would shut that door and stuff foam in all the cracks so the hornets wouldn't come in and sting me because i got stung once while i was practicing but i literally set a mirror up on that wall i put a couch in there a rug a mini fridge and a sound system and i acted like i was singing to like thousands of people that's crazy <laughs> i'm a, i am a super emotional guy too but thinking about that I never want to go back there. That's crazy that I even did that. I was so hot sometimes. Obviously in the summertime, there's no AC in that thing. And in the wintertime, it's freezing. <laughs> so I'd get some whiskey going and uh, I actually wrote some songs in there too with other guys. I can't believe that I did that. I, I'm thinking back on it. I never had a solid answer for anybody that asked me what I wanted to do out of high school. I couldn't answer them. I didn't know. I think all I was worried about is when my homework was done, could I go to the skate park? How much uh, money is it going to cost me to get this part for my car? I was never thinking about the future, man. And then right across the street is this little tiny bar called the Rusty Nail. When I first moved to town, me and my buddy Googled a spot to drink a beer. And this was the closest bar. We walk in and get a beer and there's a girl on stage just killing it. I mean, she sounded like an angel. Turned to my buddy Cody, I said, I, I don't think I can hang here, man. Like, if, the, if this is how good the talent is at this dive bar on the edge of Nashville, there's no way that I can hang. And that's where my bar was set. When I first moved to this town, that's where my bar was set. And that was Ashlyn McBride. <laughs> Like that just proves to you right there, you gotta grind it out, man. It's like nothing, nothing's gonna come to you, man, you know. Yeah.